Hi there guys, so Evander Holyfield has explained that Anthony Joshua is actually a better boxer than Tyson Fury. I know, Anthony Joshua is a better boxer than Tyson Fury, but he did explain that Tyson Fury will beat Anthony Joshua. Now, first of all, let's look at it this way. Anthony Joshua is an Olympic gold medalist, and if you watch his boxing style, he is very upright, quite European style, but ultimately his work is a lot cleaner than Tyson Fury's. Tyson Fury bobs his head, herky jerky, and he does move well, but it's an unconventional style that Tyson Fury has. Anthony Joshua is more neat and obviously a little bit more tidy, but that doesn't necessarily get results. Obviously, Tyson Fury is unbeaten. Tyson Fury, his style does work, especially considering he's six foot nine and he uses that to his advantage. He has a good jab and a good right hand. We saw that in the Deontay Wilder rematch. So while Tyson Fury is unconventional, it does not mean that he's necessarily a better boxer than Anthony Joshua. But I'm not saying that Anthony Joshua is better than Tyson Fury either. Obviously, Evander Holyfield is the one who said this, that Anthony Joshua is a better boxer than Tyson Fury. Well, Anthony Joshua does have a good jab, a good right hand, and he has a good stand-up style. We saw that in the Andy Ruiz Jr. rematch. But one thing he does lack is head movement. And obviously, the signs of a good boxer is the whole package. Movement, head movement, footwork, right hand, jab, left hook, everything. And it's not necessarily about having power in those shots. It's about how you use them, how you dismantle your opponent and take them apart. It's about the skill rather than the power. And obviously, when you look at it like that, you will see that Anthony Joshua is more neat than Tyson Fury. He turns his hand over better when he throws his shots. He turns in and throws that jab extremely well and that right hand as well. Whereas Tyson Fury has only really just started learning to do that in that Kronk style. Obviously against Deontay Wilder he wanted to be more powerful and more explosive so turning that hand over was something he really worked on whereas before it was kind of pity patty and they were glancing blows but ultimately they were scoring shots. So Tyson Fury is a good boxer but as I said he's unconventional whereas Anthony Joshua is a good boxer period. He's not unconventional, he's not all that different from boxers who have come before whereas Tyson Fury has completely broken the mould and done something completely different. If you watch in the Deontay Wilder fight he starts an attack in the orthodox stance, switches to southpaw and goes back to orthodox in the same attack. Have you ever seen anyone do that in a boxing ring before? So while you could consider Anthony Joshua a good boxer and maybe a better boxer, cleaner, neater than Tyson Fury, he's not necessarily better just because of that because as I said Tyson Fury's style is completely different and it is subjective what you're judging their boxing ability on. Wins, power shots, as I said it can go on and on. So while Anthony Joshua is the neater boxer and has a cleaner style with the good jab, right hand and obviously his movement as well, Tyson Fury is unconventional. He's six foot nine, 19 stone, very fast, good mover, good head movement and have we ever seen that before in a boxing ring? So you can say that Anthony Joshua is in the mould of fighters who have come before. So he's a good boxer, whereas Tyson Fury, there isn't really anyone else like him. So yes, you can say that Anthony Joshua is a better boxer when you consider that, but then you can also consider that Tyson Fury is completely different from any other heavyweight that has come before. And that is why Tyson Fury is so good at what he does because he has created his own style. But that's not to say he can beat Anthony Joshua and Anthony Joshua perhaps being a better stand-up boxer than Tyson Fury does not mean he can beat Tyson Fury. That's what's so great about this fight. Genuine 50-50. Guys, who do you have winning this fight? And what are your thoughts on Evander Holyfield's comments towards Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury? Guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click your thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.